Howdy folks, Jacob Hess here. And in this video, we're going to discuss that big catch-22 question that most every entry-level IT job seeker has. And that is, how can I possibly get an IT job if all the job postings require experience? Isn't this actually contradictory for entry-level jobs? And how can someone get experience if they never held an IT job before? We'll answer all these questions in this video. First off, don't worry about the experience requirements on job applications. Companies are looking for people with skills, so value yourself based on the skills and knowledge that you have. It's definitely possible to get a job even without any real experience, believe it or not. However, it's a big plus to have some kind of experience. So how do you get that experience? The answer is go out and find the opportunities. You can approach businesses and offer free help with any IT projects. Believe me, this actually works. You can help with anything at all, even just moving computers around. If you can help with mounting switches or routers and doing rack work and cabling, then that's even better. Or perhaps you can get something that's even more depth than that. But you won't know until you start looking around and trying to actually find those opportunities. So how do you go about finding the opportunities? The answer to that is to look for internships. Now these could be paid or unpaid. Obviously you'd like a paid one better probably. Uh, so you can do internships or you can just approach the businesses offering free help with their IT projects, kind of like we talked about before. Now for internships, you can also use online job search tools like indeed.com or some type of equivalent to find those internships. The summertime can actually be great too. Summer internships at schools and colleges are available because these schools and colleges do a lot of IT projects and they need to do them during the summer when there's no students there. They do things like network upgrades, they upgrade their router switches, they install new computers, re-image computers, all this stuff needs to be fit in when there's no students at the school. So that's a great one for you if you have time during those summer months. Now, as I said, there's internship positions at many different companies that will be available during any odd month in the year, so don't limit yourself there. What about going outside of internships for this kind of experience? Beyond internships, you can simply approach the businesses, like we said before, and ask if you can help them out. So let them know you're honestly just trying to study for information technology and get some real world experience. Just be honest about that and that you're offering to help them for free so you can put this stuff on your resume. So you can do a project with them and then, and then put that on your resume. Now government organizations and hospitals are great places to volunteer your time like this. They usually have a lot of buildings and a larger network or even credit unions and banks uh, you can use your help too in certain projects. But Never limit yourself to just any type of business. Really any larger company that has more than just one small office or so will likely be doing IT projects. So go out and find some places where you'd like to volunteer. Now I know a lot of folks may feel like they don't have time to volunteer, but that's the beauty about volunteering folks. About volunteering rather than just interning is because you can do it all in your own time. You'll be helping the company during that one project that you're volunteering for and then you'll be free again. So it's really all on your schedule really. Now this could be just a day or two on the weekend or if you aren't free in the weekend you can volunteer your time whenever you have it. Just pick some time you're available and let them know when you're available and work that out. It can be any time you're available. Now at NextGen, we actually have students who do these things and it can really, really help. We even had one student who asked if he could just shadow an IT team and on an install, he ended up being able to fix a problem right there on the spot that the other folks couldn't actually fix. So needless to say, they ended up asking him about how he knew that, et cetera, and they ended up hiring him. Uh, to get a little more specific about it, the student actually helped the IT team to fix an orphaned VLAN on a switch. Now he noticed this problem because we trained him to look out for that. And guess what? Yes, he did get the job offer from that IT team and started working there shortly after. So anyhow, you just need to get out there, folks, and start spending a little time to get a little bit of experience that you can put on your resume. And who knows what else may actually happen for you while you're doing that. So get out there, folks. I'd also like to end this session with some more information that can help you out. Here at NextGenT, we provide comprehensive training programs called Zero to Engineer. Well, folks just like you can get started with zero experience. You can learn all the fundamentals and the necessary skills, get real world skills certified, and even plan, design, and implement multiple IT projects all on your own. Now, by training with us, you'll gain this knowledge and skills by actually doing it all. And that, my friends, is real experience. So, as you can see, 
We've got you covered here at NextGenT. If you liked this video, or you learned something new, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. Now, if you have experience with what we've been talking about here, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Jacob Hess here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you, if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our IT engineer training programs at www.zerotoengineer.com.